Hey what's up this is Keywielder Oblivion and I'm back this is another video dealing with Final Fantasy 15 but this is the Platinum demo um I touched on combat in a different video so if you want to watch that out watch that video just go check it out um but there's a few things I want to talk about before I start this so normally I use this technique to stop fall damage right here but I figured out that you could use this as your fall damage stopper so all you gotta do is basically press square before you hit, just before you hit the ground. Well, anyway, what I wanted to talk about was the air step sword. All about the air step sword in this video. So to combat techniques and stuff like that, like you just saw me do. Um. So what I want to show you is ground combat. I didn't really touch on ground combat in the last video. So if you pull push your left analog stick away from the enemy, you're in, then you'll do a backflip that um, lets you avoid a lot of um, attacks this parry right here you didn't see that big red parry thing come up on screen so I'm guessing you could parry like that with anything as long as you press it just before the attack hits um, that doesn't work with the shield I think but I'm not gonna talk about that right now I'll have a video on the broadsword also but anyway, so for the ground combat, what I wanted to say was you could you could also do like a side flip also. Um, like if you move your analog stick to the side while you're attacking the enemy, you'll do a side flip. But that doesn't really dodge their attacks unless there's an enemy in the game where that attack is helpful. But with the air step sword, it's not so helpful fighting against the iron giant. So the best way is to pull back. You see me pulling back twice the first time is a dodge and then if you attack after that backflip you'll just go straight back normally to the enemy but if you pull back a second time you'll do like a warp dodge it doesn't take up mp however um but i want to make sure it doesn't so you could look at my mp bar and you'll see but i i don't think the backflip dodge no probably it does so the second one the warp dodge takes up MP but if after that dodge and you press the um the attack button you will not be doing a ground combo anymore it will switch you straight up to an air combo so dodge once if you wanna stay as a ground combo dodge twice if you wanna switch it up to an air combo as you can see right here I'm just um using the shield I block these are some combos that I want to show you guys that you could actually perform in the game I block with the shield I jump and then I press square that technique just um locks you onto the enemy and um, you will always hit an enemy that's close quarters so jump and press square that will always give you a hit so then next I um keep pressing square and I mean circle sorry jump and press circle your attack button jump and press your attack button I'm I messed up so um you could do the air like the air dodging technique with um shurikens also so as you can see I started my combo with the shuriken um the reason why I, um zoomed in that far my enemy was that far and I closed the gap was because like I said the normal attack once you in the air with the air step sword it um zones you in closes in the gap no matter how far you are but there is a distance that you could do it at but you could do it from very far away so with the normal attack which is circle um so that's like a way so I just use my ear um my what do you call it the cross shuriken started the combo from very far away got a little bit close with the dodge air um, techniques and then I use my sword to close in the gap then I switch back to my thing see you that that you could do as many dodges as you want and stuff like that I just want to show off a few combos and stuff mixing up some cross shuriken with my air step sword and stuff like that so you guys could see and with the broad um the shield so you see me do one flip two flip and then I do the double flip and like I said after you attack just press circle after the first attack with the double flip and you go straight into an air combo after that and you see I parried with the air step sword I'm not sure if you should hold down the um, circle button after you parry to get a better combo but so far the broadsword has way better parrying combos so I think the broadsword heavy weapons are made for parrying so switch to your heavy weapon when you see a prompt to block so see you see how far that gap was and I was able to close it in that's just me pressing circle nothing else 
want oh yeah i know people say whole circle to win but it's so much more than that and by the way i play kingdom hearts a lot so i really don't like that combos continue when you just hold circle like even when i play kingdom hearts a lot so the way i'm all these attacks i'm tapping circle all the time i cannot do combos properly with just holding down circle because it ruins the combo basically you um you have to push back on the analog stick. You can't just constantly hold back on the analog stick away from your enemy and expect him to dodge. You have to pull back at just the right time to be able to dodge. See? Like that. I don't constantly hold back because if you constantly hold back while you're holding down circle, nothing will happen. You have to be ready for everything. You see me dodge, then I do. You could also do side dodges. You could also dodge into the enemy. Um, air step, I guess it's called into the enemy, air step away from the enemy and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I don't know what else I need to explain, but it's pretty simple. It's a simple concept. You could um, mix and match all these combos with different stuff, with different weapons and stuff. So this tutorial, combat tutorial, wouldn't be, you see I jump to avoid the punch and then um, I uh, use circle to close in the gap and you could swing around the enemy by using the side dodge I don't know if that's gonna be helpful if some enemies are weaker in the back so you could swing around them using the side dodge and stuff here's another clip of me using that um, falling technique normally I used to use um, the warp with the air step sword not toward the enemy like just press the normal warp and warp a few feet and then that stops the fall damage but now I realize you could do that and it doesn't take up MP the normal warp using away from that I showed you guys that takes up MP using square before you just before you hit the ground wouldn't take up as much MP so here's a good combo clip right now that I'm showing you guys um, I'm mixing the back dodge with getting in close and then dodging again just before because I almost got hit and stuff like that then using the cross shuriken see how far that gap was that did not use up NP to close that gap when you see me dodging away from the enemy dodging to the side while I'm in the air that is using up MP that double dodge used up MP <clears throat> so that's basically it so manage your MP by the way because I find myself doing a lot of combos then get in the stasis effect um, right next up under the enemy and that would be bad if this enemy was crazy powerful but I've been playing around expect um, a few more videos like this showing off combat techniques I have some combat techniques with a broadsword the shield probably not so much because I need y'all to realize the shield the only thing really about the shield is that you could parry enemies if you press the shield bring up the shield at the right time and the shield has its own charge attack kinda just like the broadsword if you didn't know the broadsword has a charge attack I'll show you both so I may combine the broadsword tutorial with the shield tutorial because there's not that much to the shield to be honest there's a lot to the broadsword and there's a lot to the um, air step sword there's not a lot to the um, to the cross shuriken other than you could dodge while in the air no matter what and I need y'all to realize that um every attack with the cross shuriken takes up MP so that's not practical if you're trying to watch your MP but anyway thanks for watching this key will oblivion leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials of course I'll be having Final Fantasy 15 when it comes out it